Hello, this is a quick tutorial for how to cast between any two actor objects in Unreal Engine. Um, I've already gone ahead and created these three. Um, these were all created by just clicking actor from the blueprint class. Uh, this one is named cube explode. This one is cube switch. And this one is cube, this one is flying ball BP. Um, this one is a projectile that will fly in this direction. And this one is a switch. When this collides with this, it will cast to this cube explode and it will explode. Um, I'm not gonna go through showing you how to set up projectile movements or how to put the mesh in there because that's not why you're here. The only reason you're here is because you want to know how to cast between these two to this one. I know that's only the only reason you're here, so I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, so from the cube explode and from the cube switch, you want these two to be able to communicate with each other. So from the cube switch, you're going to drag out from event begin play and get all actors of class. Now we're going to get this cube explode that we're going to want to cast to cube explode BP. Now I'm sure you've seen a lot of tutorials online that are telling you to use for each loop on these. Do not use this. This is really, really expensive. If you have 10 objects that are all using a for each loop of get all actors, that's going to ruin your game. That is not the right way to do it. What you need to do is drag out from here and type copy. And then you'll see this little blue pin. You can drag out and promote to variable. I'm just going to call this cube ref. And make sure to plug this in. Now you have a reference to it. Now I'm going to go to the static mesh for the cube. This will be my switch. Then on component event begin overlap. I'm sure you're familiar with how to do this. I'm just going to cast to the flying ball. Now on the flying ball, I want to cast to the explode, but there's but now I have this reference. So I can just drag from here, get cube. Now inside of the cube explode, I have to create a custom event for the cube to explode. So just call it explode event. I'm going to spawn a emitter at location, the regular explosion, and get actor location. It, this part's not important, it's just to show that it works. Destroy actor. Okay, that's done. Now back inside here, we can cast to that event inside of here. Drag out and explode event. There we go. So now we've cast to another object from inside of another object. Um, this can work, but for those of you that are new to Unreal Engine, you need to know that you should have an is valid here. Because if this cube is not in the level, you're going to get a bunch of errors. So we're going to connect and is valid. Now compile, save. Everything else should be just fine. Okay, now we're going to let it run. So when this collides with this, this cube over here will explode. Boom, that's it. It's done. It works. Uh, but wait, there's more. Um, if you do, this will only work with this one cube. If you duplicate it and create a bunch of others in the world, it's only going to work with that one cube. So you're probably wondering how do I get it to work with that one cube? Well, this is the time when it's okay to use the for each loop. For each, let's see.
normally you would never use the for each loop on event begin play because it's so expensive. Now we can use the for each loop. Oops, didn't collide. Oh, forgot to set this so for each. Forgot to connect those two pins, so that would create a problem. Okay. Anyway, back in. All of them explode. There you go. 